Good morning and welcome to our school mass. Today we celebrate the power of Jesus' name. The reading from the Acts of the Apostles tells us that Peter and John healed someone in the name of Jesus Christ. In the Gospel, we hear that if we have faith in Jesus, we can do amazing things. Jesus promises that he will do whatever we ask him to do. Let us ask Jesus today for great faith in him so that we can spread the good news in his name. Let my mouth be filled with your praise that I may sing aloud. My lips shall shout for joy when I sing to you. Alleluia. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. Our brothers and sisters in Christ, good morning, or whatever time of the day you find yourself in. Uh, Father Chris here celebrating Mass, and I uh, have uh, Miss Mandina with us today to celebrate Mass, certainly. Um, and for those of you at home and at school, if you'd join me. Uh, we'll have you send your guardian angel over here. Uh, the guardian angel will get collect all the blessings that they can and bring them right back to you uh, at the conclusion of this Mass. So, guardian angel at my side, go to the church for me. Now, in my place at Holy Mass, where I desire to be. At offertory in my stead, take all I am and own and place it as a sacrifice upon the altar throne. At Holy Consecration's bell, adore with Sarah's love. My Jesus, hidden in the host, come down from heaven above. When the priest communion takes, or bring my Lord to me, that his sweet heart may rest on mine, and I his temple be. Again, brothers and sisters, welcome. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you raise a dead to life in the spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light to those in darkness. Lord have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Almighty God, have mercy in us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Be present to our family, O Lord, we pray, and graciously ensure those who have endowed with the grace of faith an eternal share in the resurrection of your only begotten Son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. At the time of prayer, which was about three o'clock in the afternoon, Peter and John were going into the temple. A man who had been born lame was being carried to the temple door. Each day he was placed beside this door known as the beautiful gate. He sat there and begged from the people who were going in. The man saw Peter and John entering the temple and he asked them for money, but they looked straight at him and said, look up at us. The man stared up at them and thought he was going to get something, but Peter said, I don't have any silver or gold, but I will give you what I do have. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, get up and start walking. Peter then took him by the right hand and helped him up. At once the man's feet and ankles became strong and he jumped up and started walking. He went with Peter and John into the temple, walking and jumping and praising God. Everyone saw him walking around and praising God. They knew that he was the beggar who had been lying beside the beautiful gate and they were completely surprised. They could not imagine what had happened to the man. The word of the Lord. Be to God. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Sing a new song to the Lord. He has worked miracles, and with his own powerful arm, he has won the victory. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. The Lord has shown the nations that he has the power to save and to bring justice. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Make music for him on harps. Play beautiful melodies. Sound the trumpets and horns. And celebrate with joyful songs for our Lord and King. 
All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Please stand. <clears throat> Hallelujah. 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 Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of everlasting life. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you for certain that if you have faith in me, you will do the same things that I am doing. You will do even greater things now that I am going back to the Father. Ask me, and I will do whatever you ask. This way, the Son will bring honor to the Father. I will do whatever you ask me to do. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise Lord Jesus Christ. 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 Well, hey, everybody, welcome back. You know, there are some amazing things that happen in our readings this time of the year. Uh, the first part is that the first part is that when we read the Acts of the Apostles, that is the very first reading. In the scriptures, the Acts of the Apostles come right after the Gospels. So you have the Acts of the, you have the Gospels and the Acts of the Apostles. Actually, we're told that St. Luke, the one that wrote the third Gospel, is also the one that wrote Acts of the Apostles because he was in the know. He was in the middle of the original, the beginning of the community, the beginning of the church uh, was during this time. So this is amazing when you link and when you look at these two readings today. Because in the Gospel of Jesus, the Gospel of Luke, I should say, they're all Gospels of Jesus, uh, but in the Gospel of Luke, uh, John, I'm sorry, geez, I'm, I'm in the wrong Gospel, but it's, it's John, so my bad. But John is, is talking about Jesus saying to, to his apostles, he's, in the Gospel of John, he's getting close to dying here. This is close, so he's having a big meal with his apostles, and he's telling them it's the Passover. And he's telling them all these things that are going to happen. And in particular, he says, I tell you for certain, if you have faith in me, you will do greater things than I am doing. You know, when you, when you listen to that and take one step back and say, wait a minute, what did Jesus do? Well, let's say he, um, he healed people, he cured uh, diseases, he got rid of evil spirits out of people, um, he walked on water, he, um, there are other things here that I'm forgetting, uh, but, but primarily he brought people back from the dead. He brought back dead people. And for Jesus to say, we're going to do greater things, you have to go, wow, really? How is that going to look? But I think the core here, my brothers and sisters, is to look today to say, why exactly did Jesus do the miracles that he did? And I think in a lot of cases, it was to capture people's attention. In other words, when you saw a miracle, you went, wait, what? Because a miracle isn't something you see every day. Not in the, not, I mean, look. Babies being born are a miracle, certainly. But what I mean is that's, that's in the way it's, it's a miracle that it happens, but at the same point, we do see those every day. The miracle is just out of the blue. Like to see a person that has a broken foot uh, or can't walk, and all of a sudden somebody prays with them and says, in the name of Jesus, I ask you to be healed, and boom, they get up and walk. Wow. Everybody's going, uh, hmm, okay, that just happened. You know, uh, and, and, and uh, that's crazy. How did that happen? That Jesus, that Jesus took five bread, pieces of bread and five loaves of bread and two fish and had enough food for 20,000 plus people to eat. I'm like, 20,000 is a lot of people, kids. Okay, I'm just saying, you don't feed 20,000 people with five loaves of bread. And yet Jesus wanted us to take note very seriously of what he was doing. The bread was for everybody, that everybody would recognize we need bread to eat for our physical bodies, but we also have souls. We need our souls to be uplifted by God. And so every time Jesus does a miracle, he doesn't just heal the physical, he heals the spiritual. He heals what is going on in our complete person, our body, our mind sometimes. Sometimes people uh, uh, have bad traumas, things that happen to them that are really bad, and they, and they kind of forget, but later on they have to deal with it, and so they have to heal. So there's so many ways in which Jesus wants to heal us so that we can better love and serve him. 
is really the core. He did his miracle so that we could say, we could take notice and say, this doesn't happen every day. This is very rare, but Jesus is telling his apostles they will do the same things. And guess what? In the Acts of the Apostles, we read that St. Peter and St. Uh, wait, St. Peter and Peter and John. I thought it was John, but I wanted to make sure before I said it. Peter and John are walking through this public town square and getting ready to go into the temple. And they see this man who basically has been has been not been able to walk for many years, maybe his whole life. I don't know exactly, but for a long time, this man couldn't walk and people have seen him at the temple and know this man can't walk. Well, Peter and John walk by and I'm telling you this right now, if we call upon the name of Jesus and sometimes things happen in our minds and our thoughts, like we see somebody that's in a situation, like let's say they look like they're really sad and they need somebody to talk to them. And sometimes we have this thought that is beyond anything else. It's like, hmm, maybe I need to talk to this person. I had somebody recently that told me that, um, that they were walking by this lady and she looked normal. And, 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 and this, man, this man was told in this thought that he had, go tell that lady that Jesus loves her. And he's like, oh, I don't know about that. I don't want this lady to think I'm crazy by stopping here and just telling her, hey, Jesus loves you. But he walks past this lady and his thought keeps going through his mind all the way to his car. And he finally, he finally gets to his car and he's like, I, I got to go back. I, this isn't going to leave me alone. I go, he goes back to the lady and says, ma'am, I don't want you to think I'm crazy. But, and I don't know you, but, but Jesus wants me to tell you that he loves you. And I'm telling you what, this man said that this lady's eyes started going, she started crying right then because she's like, I just needed to hear that. I needed to know that God loves me. That's what he wants. That's what he was doing with all of his miracles. Certainly, if somebody loses someone in their life and somebody brings their loved one back from the dead, they're going to take note. They're going to say, well, this doesn't happen uh, ever. And so, wow, okay, so my loved one is back in my life now. It's rare, but sometimes that happens. And sometimes it's, we might have a sense or a feeling or sometimes we just want to love other people and we can't tell them Jesus loves you. And, and maybe Jesus will heal you. Not always did Jesus, I mean, he healed everybody he saw. But for the most part, he didn't heal everybody in the world. And even if he did, they would have to die anyway. But I'm just saying that there are times in those thoughts to say, Jesus, help us to know you. And as his disciples, there are times in his name we can say, well, I, Jesus, I would like you to heal my friend. I would like you to be, um, to give them a sense of peace, a sense of everything's going to be okay. Even though maybe they lose somebody they love, or maybe, maybe they are hurting. Maybe they have a broken leg and they go to the doctor and the doctor, doctor sets up their leg with a cast. We see some of our other students with casts at times, you know, you break your leg, you go to the doctor, they give you a cast so your body can heal normally. Sometimes people hear super normally or super naturally. So, um, but, but on all things, just keep saying, Lord, help me. Help me with what I'm struggling with in this life that everybody would know you love them. Amen. <coughs>
Well, we do ask you to help our hearts so we can heal if we need to, that we can help other people by listening to them, by helping them out. Lord, also in, in those cases where we can bring miracles in by praying with somebody, we ask you to help that happen so that everybody, including us, knows how much you love us. And we thank you for all of these gifts in your name, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, Ms. Medina. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice into the hands to the praise and glory of his name. For our good and the cause of the church. church. Grant, we pray, O oh Lord, that we may always find delight in these paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O oh Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him, the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and, is rising, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Gregory our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, 
with St. Mary Magdalene and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Lord is now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, <clears throat> Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of Christ. Peace, 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 Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter on your fire. But only say the word, and my soul shall be Those of you at home and school, please join me in an act of spiritual communion. I, Jesus, I believe that you are in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen, indeed. Lord has risen and shown his light upon us, whom he has redeemed by his blood. Alleluia. Alleluia. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son. Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. 
May God rebuke him with a humbling pray, and to thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits from around the world seeking the world of souls. Amen. Amen. God bless you all. Have a great day and a great rest of your week. Uh, thank you, Ms. Again, Ms. Mandina, for reading for us today. God bless you guys. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.